everybody this is my first video on basic matlab structure and in this video i will be telling you about what matlab uh, what how to use matlab and what matlab is so first of all let me tell you that uh, what is matlab matlab is a basically a mathematical tool for uh, all engineering design problems it is an industry standard and uh, has been used has been used by a lot hello for researchers you will be studying you will start studying in for it from btech uh, second year onwards and uh, till the date you are a research till date you are a researcher or you go to an industry level you will be studying it uh, it is basically for uh, electronic and uh, electrical work but you can do, do a lot heck of work with it okay so the basic matlab version which i am using here is r2010a so this is a basic structure so first of all what to do is that what you have to do is uh, set up the matlab as per your requirement so what actually is required in matlab uh, in in the first preview of your matlab so the thing is you don't have to shift on any other way so you have to set up so first you set up the desktop layout okay in the desktop layouts you should be worried about what actually is required in the desktop layouts the first is the current folder in current folder so whenever you install the matlab the current folder is created this current folder contains all the matlab programs which you are going to use later on okay now uh, below the current folders there is a detail portion this detail portion shows that uh, whatever whatever program you are using when uh, for, for example i am opening this false so here false whatever may functions detail parameters are there in false it will be uh, available here okay second is the command window the command window is that portion in which you basically do the program for example i have to add two numbers for a is equal to 10 this is my first number and b is equal to 20 this is my second number so i wish to add these numbers so i will give c is equal to a plus b and uh, matlab will do it automatically and it is starting so you can do any sort of work here any arithmetic logical or any other operation you can perform in this window whatever you have done here it will appear in the work workspace window so this workspace window space window you will get all those variables which you have declared here in the command window for example a i have declared equals to 10 so it is appearing here Uh, it gives a minimum as well maximum value. So if we are declaring something like that, uh, a equals to one colon thirty. Okay, so this will give me one colon thirty. It will give me thirty numbers in the range of one to thirty. Enter it, and now you can see that here a has been changed to one to thirty with the double memory. The minimum number here is one, and maximum is thirty. so whatever you are doing here it will ultimately go to a workspace window okay this is so when you are typing when you find this in the workspace window when you double click it it will open a variable editor in which you can see all the variables so how much variable any so any number of variables so any n number of a b c d e f whichever number of variables are there in workspace these will appear in the workspace editor so you can use it uh, for later works okay this is all about workspace editor now here this is the command history so this command history gives you whatever command you are typing in your uh whatever command you are typing in your matlab word. so first command which i wrote here was a is equal to 10 so here a is equal to 10 has been given second was b is equal to 20 so b is equal to 20 then add it then i added c is equal to a plus b so c is equal to a plus b again comes here so and so on and so forth so this is how the command window works you now you will be thinking about that if i think if everything is to be done in the command window then lot of lot of people are saying what actually we have to do it in matlab and uh, where where the where that long lines of codes are to be written which is to be written uh, which codes to be written in the matlab so for that uh, you can go to here add a new script okay but since i have added when you will click it it will open the editor window as it is okay so this is how the editor window will open this is a new script okay now this is the first new script now here i want to add 
you can write your long lines of programs i will be telling you in my later videos that how to write a program in matlab but uh, uh, this is the first video so i am telling you about the basics only so here is the editor window let me run a simple program uh, for you for example let me add two numbers this is a equals to 10 so if you would uh, so the main thing is here if you put a semicolon along with this it will not appear in the main window but if you don't it will appear in the main window a is equal to this b is equal to 20 and uh, c is equal to uh, a plus b so everything will be printed on this field i have to save this and then i can run it so i save it as sum it is saved now i'll run it from here run sm so it will give a is equal to b equal to c so everything is running on the window the over system the over the values have been overwritten here in the workspace so you can clean this clean this history by using the clear clear all command c l e r a w l all command again type clc clear all will clear all the variables in the workspace clc will clear your command window okay so it is done now i can again run it and it is showing only whatever results you are to, you are using it so you can use clc clear all in your program also like this clc clear all clc okay sum and run again so it will be showing the present variables so here is the workspace now if you want to save this file the final option is to save this file is for the board the basics of the matlab structure so now you want to save this file that you you want to use a b and c variables for later on so you press control s and when you press control s it is going to save your variables it was saved as sum so i saved this the file has been saved in the name now now i am uh, clearing this window it's okay so i can view my file here this is a sum file this is the sum matlab file which i created this is some solution file which i have saved so here are the solutions first see when you click on single click here it will show the details here okay if you double click then workspace will open this was all about the basics of matlab how to use matlab for the first time if you are a new user it's really simple in my coming videos i will be telling about how to uh, start with adding programs and uh, how to use it further thanks for watching my video and uh, please do like share and subscribe if you found this helpful thank you thanks a lot